Hey, hey everybody, Brock Frady here, helping you enjoy your ride. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a 2017 Honda Pilot EXL. Let's take a look at how the key fob works. On the top, you have lock. Below that, you have unlock. To the left of that, you have remote start, and you have the rear tailgate to the right of that. Down at the very bottom, you have the panic alarm. So when you lock it, it locks all four doors, plus the tailgate. When you hit unlock once, it unlocks just the driver's door. Unlock twice, it unlocks all four doors and the rear tailgate. Pressing the right bottom button, the tailgate, about two seconds, it opens it up. There is a physical key that is embedded inside the key fob. The way to access that is to push a little tab there at the very bottom. You push it down and you pull the key out. This key will never be used to start the car. This is only used in the event that the battery in the key fob dies, at which point you'll unlock the door with the key. Then you'll get into the car and you'll put, it, put your foot on the brake, place this by the start button, and it should have enough juice in it to start it up, at which point you will need to have the battery replaced. You can also use this in a valet situation. In the event that you go to a hotel with a valet, you can take this key out, give the driver the key fob, and you can actually lock the glove compartment with this key and so that the valet driver cannot access your personal items inside the glove box. It has a 280 horsepower, 3.5 liter single overhead cam V6 engine with Earth Dreams technology and variable cylinder management. Now, variable cylinder management will allow the vehicle to shut off three of the cylinders in order to operate as a three cylinder vehicle when the engine is under a lighter load in order to help with fuel efficiency. It has a six speed automatic transmission, intelligent VTM4 all wheel drive system, intelligent traction management, hill start assist, electric power assisted rack and pinion steering. It has 18 inch alloy wheels and is sitting on 245-60R18 all season tires, heated power door mirrors, auto on off headlights, LED daytime running lights, fog lights, rear privacy glass, and LED tail lights. The MSRP before destination is $38,405. After Honda Destination Service, the total MSRP of this 2017 Honda Pilot is $39,345. The fuel economy is 18 miles per gallon city, 26 miles per gallon highway, and a combined fuel economy of 21. Let's take a look at the headlights. I love the front of this Honda Pilot. Its design is, is really aerodynamic. It looks big and beefy without being overdone. To me, it's got kind of a futuristic, really good looking appeal to it. You can see here the LED daytime running lights and I love how they come up to the very corner of the face of the vehicle itself. These are your halogen reflector beam style headlights. Those are super bright. And then down here at the bo very bottom, just where fog lights should be placed, you have your fog lights there in the very bottom corners of the front. I really recommend using those fog lights anytime it's raining, anytime it's foggy, anytime the weather is bad. They're really gonna increase the vision of the road for you so that you can see a lot more efficiently. I really love the front of this thing. That's that kind of look that I was talking about, about the daytime running lights being wrapped around the corners there. You also have these orange marker lights that are integrated there into the side as well. The front of it just has a really good, clean aerodynamic look. The brakes on the front are ventilated, which means there is a channel that passes in the middle of that disc and it allows the disc to be cooled by the air that's passing through it as you drive. The benefit of that is to reduce the likelihood of brake fade. Also notice that you have five lug nuts there and one of those lug nuts has a little star pattern in the middle of it. And that is a locking lug nut that's to reduce the likelihood that your wheels are gonna be stolen. That's always good to know. And your rear brakes are solid disc. Let's take a look at the cargo area. 
It does have a third row, and the thing I love about Honda Innovation and how they use their third row is they can actually make a real third row fit in a vehicle with a V6. That may not sound like that big of a deal, but usually those third rows that actually fit real people are found in big, huge domestic V8 vehicles. Honda does it in a V6 with real storage area right behind the third row as well. Another thing that I am just crazy about for Honda is that they use storage areas. They, they use the space extremely well. You can see that there's a handle here and you can pop that up and there's a big, big space back here for storage. <laughs> I mean, look at that. You don't have to take that cover out. You can put it there in the floor of that usable storage area and not have to store that cover separately from everything else. Fantastic idea. Now, in order to fold the third row, take this and pull, and it's going to fold the headrest and give you the ability to have the seat fold forward at the same time. You can then use this strap to kind of let it down all the way. Another thing I appreciate about this is the fact that those seats actually fold really flat. Also, there are silver little silver clips there and on the far left, and those are going to be anchors for tie downs in the event that you need to store something big or carry furniture. I'm going to fold the second row down now. So check that out. What a fantastic area for storage. Then you can take this seat back and just pull it up and again it, that is really really easy to do now there are two buttons that are on this seat that i want to point out there's one button there and there's another button there on the top of that seat back there is a motor it's a motorized action so when you press the button on the back of that seat there it actually releases a lever that will spring the seat forward and fold that seat back forward at the same time, allowing you access into the third row. Very, very simple. There's also a nice little step to access the third row there. So your passengers can simply step up on that and get into the third row easily. Now I'm gonna fold that third row back up from the rear. You can close that rear gate manually, but I prefer the easy way. The first easy way is to use the key fob right here to press that button and lower the gate. However, there is another way. You can see the rear backup camera right here, just to the left of the Honda emblem. And there's also a rubber button. You can press that, it will release and the door will open. When the doors are locked to access the pilot, all you need to do is have the key fob on your person and it will allow you to use the vehicle completely. So all I'm gonna do is approach the vehicle, grab the handle and pull. When I'm finished using it, all I need to do is press the little black button that's on the door handle and all the doors lock. And as you heard, it gives an audible confirmation as well. Now the inside of the Pilot is absolutely luxurious. I love the fact that Honda is making so many innovations as far as technology is concerned and everything, but they're not leaving out overall comfort. And the second row passengers get the same comfort as the front row seats do. You have temperature controls and fan speed right there as well. You can see those vents. Now the air vents for the third row are gonna be inside the door panel right here. They're not in the ceiling. So the air vents in the third row are gonna be located inside that door panel so that when your passengers are seated in that third row, it's against the wall. And you have two cup holders there and a little pocket inside that door with your power door button and also a chrome handle to open the door. But look here, this is the passenger front door. Look at all the storage areas that are utilized. Like I said before, Honda, leaves nothing unused as far as the storage areas are concerned. You just have pockets all over the place. I like the brushed aluminum look there under that black area. 
And so you've got this black area, the tan, brushed aluminum, and then that polished handle there. It, but it all comes together in a, in a really cohesive way. It looks really nice. There's lots of footwell area in this Pilot. I love how much foot room Honda gives you. It's another thing about the footwells in the front as well. They are huge. This is really cool. You see how the start button is pulsing there with light. As far as the amount of room that I have, it looks like it's like vast. It, the, the layout of the dash is really, really big. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I've got the camera right up by my head and this, so this is my perspective. And this is the backup camera. I'm gonna put it in reverse here. And it has these dynamic grid lines. So you can see when I say, when I say dynamic, that's what I mean. And you can see the grid lines that are on the camera right now, they're dynamic. And by that I mean they turn with the angle of the wheel. You can see how that red box is angled. And the reason, and this is the backup camera. I'm gonna put it in reverse here. And you can see the grid lines that are on the camera right now, they're dynamic. And by that I mean they turn with the angle of the wheel. You can see how that red box is angled. And the reason it's angled is because it matches the angle of the steering wheel. You can see how I have it turned. And so when that steering wheel turns, the angle of that turns and it also changes colors. You can see if you turn it too far, it turns red, which means, whoa, watch out. And then if it's straight, it's yellow. Really innovative. And the floorboard of this passenger area, it's nice and square. And I know that that doesn't sound like a big deal, but it doesn't taper to a point toward the front of the vehicle. So you have really open space there for your feet deep inside that well. And that actually makes a big difference on a long trip. The leather for this thing is actually really, really durable, but it's also durable without being harsh. The bolstering on the seats are is nice and firm, and you have airbags all over the place. Side impact airbags, airbag there in the dash, of course in the steering wheel, airbag on the outer portion of the front seats. And you can see little tabs right here. That is gonna be for the child safety seat. And so you can actually get safety seats back here in the back seats. And that just simply means that there is an anchor there. There's actually a metal, like a metal point that you can click a child safety seat into there in the bottom of that seat. The interior is nice and easy to understand. There's nothing overly complicated. It doesn't have 10 million buttons and everything is pretty much consistent with all other Honda vehicles, which is super nice. More cup holders right there. Honda does not want you to be thirsty in any way. You also have a really big center uh, cargo storage area there with a USB and a lighter adapter port there against that wall. Automatic transmission. Climate controls are here. It is dual zone climate control and you do have all of your different settings here. So that's your fan speed and auto, rear settings, rear lock, that's your front defrost and your rear and heated mirror defrost there as well. And then you have this fantastic screen that is a flat panel screen without a bunch of buttons. And that is wonderful. Audio, power on and off. Then you have home, volume, menu back and lighting or daytime and nighttime mode. I just pressed menu and that brings up the audio menu. We're gonna press home there. And now you have phone, info, audio link or Honda link, smartphone settings, and check this out. You can actually swipe it just like a tablet. So this allows you to put different customized screens. You can see it's got different pages selections there. So you can either hit the arrows or you can swipe just like a tablet. That is so neat, really intuitive. Then you've got a little button down here and when you press that, it takes you to the apps screen. Then you can hit this and it'll take you right back to audio. When you press source, that gives you the ability to select different sources, whether it's AM, FM, Sirius, USB, Bluetooth, phone, Pandora, iPod, or auxiliary. So you have tons of different sources, I believe a total of nine. Here on your steering wheel, on the left side, you have steering wheel audio controls. 
You have cell phone with Bluetooth and also your voice commands. Cruise control on the right side and then information on the bottom right. And when you press that button, you see a display that's in the center of the dash. So I'm pressing down right now and that's gonna be fuel economy information, tire pressure monitor system, oil life. So that is a great little feature there that allows you to have valuable information at your fingertips. You can see you have a tachometer on the left, then you have a temperature gauge on the right with fuel at the very bottom right, and your speedometer there at the top. These are your buttons for your gauge brightness. That actually makes it easier for the camera to see. This button here is gonna be in uh, your lane watch, so you can, your lane departure, so you can press that. And then that's what the vehicle sees. We're inside this studio here, so you can actually tell that that camera now under that rear view mirror is operational. Love that feature. Here's your econ mode. That's gonna control the throttle mapping. It makes it a little uh, sluggish, but that's actually by design because it's more fuel efficient that way. Multi-directional keypad with left and right, and that controls the positioning of the outside mirrors. And now let's take a look at the heart of the beast. It has a 3.5 liter V6, 280 horsepower engine. This is actually a really efficient engine with that cylinder shutoff management system. You can see your brake fluid is there, gonna be on the back right side with the breather box or your air filter there on the right side. Windshield washer fluid. Oil dipstick there on the left. And then your engine oil fill is right there. You can see the orange writing on that lid right there. And it says SAE 0W20, that means it's fully synthetic oil, and that you're gonna change the oil every 10,000 miles. The general manager here at Crown Honda, his name is Mike Rasmussen, and he wants you to contact him directly if you are interested in this pilot or any other Honda vehicle that Crown Honda would have to offer, and they have a huge inventory. M. Rasmussen at crownauto.com. I have his card right here. And that, I have to say, is actually really cool, the fact that a general manager wants you to contact him. You go right to the source. Thanks, Mike, and thanks, Crown Honda. Okay, everybody, that about wraps up our look at the Honda Pilot. I would love to know what you think. I would also like to give a huge thank you to Crown Honda in Greensboro, North Carolina, for the opportunity to film this really cool Honda Pilot. If you like this video and you would like more content just like this delivered to you hot off the press as soon as I make it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope this helps you enjoy your ride. Have a wonderful day everybody.